Hi everybody, welcome to Chisel. This is day five, the optional day in the program. You've already done the upper, lower, upper, lower split workout. I hope you enjoyed it. This is the fifth day, which is optional, which will be a little bit upper body and a little bit of abs. We'll try a few things. I'm not a big ab person in general. I'm not here to get a six pack. I'm here to be healthy, to look good, to feel good, and to be functionally strong. So this is gonna be an upper body. We're only gonna do four exercises followed by a little bit of abs, so it probably won't be that long. It'll probably be a shorter workout, but this gives you just that little bit of extra, uh, extra volume, a little bit of extra strain on the muscles to, to stress them just a little bit so you can force that growth. And a lot of people like a five-day workout. They like to work out five days, including myself, and uh, I've really enjoyed writing this program and, and doing it for you and with you so that we can hit something a little different. It's a little out of my wheelhouse, so I thought it would be fun to do. So I hope you guys uh, had as much fun uh, doing it as I did, as I did uh, programming it and uh, performing it with you. So we're gonna go right into it. We're gonna do something very simple. We don't even have to do a warm up because we're going to do push-ups. Straight, standard, push-ups, okay? We're gonna do three sets of push-ups. Now, it's a great warm up as well, but this is the actual exercise. We're gonna try to do three sets of 20. Now, if you struggle on, on that, if maybe you're a female doing this and you struggle on the, on the push-ups, 20 is a lot, right? So three sets of 20. Um, if you can't get to 20, you do as many as you can do. That's fine. And then you track it and you try to do one better next week, right? That's how progressive overload works. That's how progress is made. And on the guys, if you guys are used to doing push-ups, this will probably be fairly easy for you or at least within your capabilities. And if you just simply can't do push-ups at all, I'll show you some variations you can do. Uh, but please avoid doing the ones where your knees are on the ground. Uh, I would rather you do them on an incline, like a bench, or if you have a countertop, or even against a wall as a wall push-up. You'll get more value than doing it from your knees. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started here. 20 push-ups. Shouldn't be too bad. Okay, guys. I go a little further in shoulder width, and I don't go super slow, I go at a good pace. So let's get 20 done for the first set. You guys ready? Let's go. There's 10. There's 20. Okay, good job. Take a quick break. I forgot to take my socks off. I know, I like working out in bare feet, as you know. These are fresh socks, don't worry. They are not dirty. I just put them on, and I forgot to take them off. So, what you want to do, take a break. Make sure you write it down. Get your electrolytes. So like I said, if you're struggling on the push-up, do them against the wall, your feet back, you know, try to get a little bit of strain on the muscle. If you can graduate to a bench, do them on the bench, it's a little easier. And if you're really good, do decline push-ups. Put your feet on the bench and try to get 20 in. Okay, good stuff. This is not just warming up, this is also working the chest, doing 60 push-ups, you know, is no joke. A lot of people struggle to do 20 at a time. If you can do 50 at a time, you're probably beyond, uh, <laughs> beyond me on this, uh, on this area, so this will be easy for you anyways. Okay, let's get ready for set two, guys. I'm gonna keep this workout as short as possible because it is an optional day. I don't want you spending 45 minutes on an optional day if you don't want to. There are other programs for that. Okay, let's get down. I like to go past my, my shoulders on the placement of my hands. And remember, you're not coming down like this. You're coming down with your arms at your side at a 45 degree, just like I, got, I taught you on the bench press. Okay, you ready? Let's go. Fifteen. All right. 
20. Good job. I can feel it already in my chest. I can feel it. <clears throat> Excellent. We're only going to do, I think, four exercises. So the push up is one. We'll do four upper body movements. And then we'll try with a little bit of uh, a little bit of ab work. Now, you can skip the ab work if you really don't do ab work. <laughs> and that's fine. But I'm gonna bring out the, the old ab wheel for later, okay? So, if you have an ab wheel, fantastic. If you don't, you could pick them up for like 10, 15 bucks. And uh, for next time, or if you don't wanna do it, you don't have to do the ab stuff. There is a, I just wanna throw it in for a little bit extra here. Okay. We have one more set now. <clears throat> one more set of 20. All right. We can get through that. I can already feel the, the chest burning a little bit. That's all right. That's all right. Okay. You guys ready? 20 reps. 20 reps, let's go. Five. 10. Fifteen. Twenty. All right. Good job. Good job. I'm going to get the bench in position for this next one. Okay. Take a break for a few minutes. Now, we are going to do a dumbbell pullover. So you need one weight, and we're gonna lay on the bench, and we're gonna do a pullover, okay? So it works the chest a bit, works the back a bit, so we have everything. We are gonna do three sets of 12, okay? Like all the other stuff in this series, three sets of 12, outside of the push-ups, okay? Just remember, if you didn't get 20, 20, and 20 on the push-ups, write down what you got. If you got eight, five, 10, 12, whatever, write it down. And next time, try to beat one of them by one. That's it. That's progress, guys. Even tiny, tiny steps forward are progress. And tiny steps over time add up to giant leaps. That's what you guys have to remember. This is not a, a short-term fix here. This is a long-term game, all right? So what you're gonna do, is you're going to lay down. You have the dumbbell on your chest if you want. And you're gonna raise it up, okay? Now we're gonna go back behind our head. We're gonna do it 12 times. Just like this. Two. One more. Good job. Okay. Good job. Take a rest. I'm going to just fix my mic. Because that movement bothers the mic. Please. Okay. Still on? Excellent. Okay. Take a break. That's your dumbbell pullover. That can take a little bit of extra weight too. You can push yourself on that one. Feel that stretch at the bottom. You probably feel it in your chest too a little bit. That's the goal here, guys. Get some, keep the activation going in your optional day. It's optional, it's short, but you're sending that anabolic signal. 
keep growing, keep growing, okay? Because it's five days, that means of course two days where you're not lifting. So you could break those two days up any way you want. You can take them both in a row, work out Monday to Friday, take the weekend, recover, or put them in any days you want. Personally, I take Tuesdays and Fridays as my off days. I try to do a lot of walking, but generally I take those days as my off days. If I'm not gonna do six days a week, I'll do five and that will be my day. Okay, you ready? And do set number two here. Let's go. <clears throat> like that, right back. Can you feel that stretch? Oh, yeah. Next 10, two more. Excellent. All right. Another break. Okay. I've had a few messages about BCAAs and questions around it. I use electrolytes, but I also use BCAAs a little while. So the question is, are they really valuable? Do you need them? Absolutely not. <laughs> you do not need branch chain amino acids, okay? Unless you're, uh, unless you're doing like one meal a day or you're fasting for a long time and you wanna get something in or you're a long distance runner. There are situations like that where yeah, they could be useful. Everyday life, I'm gonna say no with a caveat. Years ago, I realized I needed to drink a lot more water. I don't drink enough water and I needed to. So what I did is I used BCAAs in my water or electrolytes, now I'm using more electrolytes, but BCAAs too. And it really encouraged me to drink a lot of water because I don't like plain water, I just don't. And the BCAAs, help flavor just a bit where I enjoyed it. I didn't go overboard with them. I didn't add a pile of it in, just a little bit to give it the flavor I wanted. And I ended up drinking a lot, a lot of water, which is good for the health, of course. So if nothing else, it encourages me to drink the water that I need. And it, but is it necessary from a branch chain amino acid standpoint? Point? No, it is not, absolutely not. If you have a good diet, and you're getting your proper nutrients, you do not need any, any supplements. Okay guys, set three, let's go. I think that's 10, I lost count. We'll do two more. Okay. Good one. Excellent job. Put my leg down over here. Okay, now, take a quick break. We are going to go into upright rows. So, Upright rows, we're gonna stand with dumbbells in front of us. We're gonna bring them up and down, okay? Up and down, great shoulder movement. The cue for you is to think like you're a puppet and you have strings on your elbows and someone pulling up your elbows, that's, that's your goal. It's not like this, right? You're not moving with your arm. 
you're moving up like that with your, and you're just basically a puppet. That's your cue. Sometimes you need good cues to understand. I'm gonna move this guy back, because I do not need this right now. Give myself some space. Okay, good. Okay. We're going to go into upright rows. We're gonna do three sets of 12. Take some weight here. I'll show you from the front, then I'll do it from the side. So what I do is I just kind of stick my glutes out a bit, get like this, and pull. Here we go. Just like that. Okay, on my elbows. Eleven. Twelve. Okay. It's a great, great shoulder movement. Okay. Good stuff. I'll do it from the side now so you can see what it looks like. Good stuff, guys. This will be a quick one. It's going to be a good workout. In and out. <clears throat> Try to make a 25, 30 minute workout. That'd be nice. For an optional day. And then you get to rest. Rest. Remember, rest is where the muscle growth happens. You do the tearing down in the gym, but then the growth happens when you're resting, when you're sleeping. That's why you gotta get good sleep. You gotta eat high, high protein because that's what the muscle will utilize, utilize to rebuild and repair will be the protein, okay? Speaking of tearing muscle, let's get going. Okay, ready? I'll stand from the side. So you see, put my glutes out just a bit so I clear it instead of like this, right? Like this. Okay, let's go. 12, just like that. Think of your elbows being pulled up. That's six. Correctly, you will feel it in your shoulders. All right. Last set coming up of the upright row. <clears throat> Same deal on everything. Progressive overload, guys. And then we're gonna do some hammer curls at the end. Get the biceps a little bit here. Give the biceps a little love, guys. <clears throat> okay. Bring that heart rate down. Relax. Breathe in. Breathe out. This is the end of the chisel series, guys. You got through week one. If this is your first week, congratulations. If this is your second, third, fourth, fifth. Congratulations. You've built a habit. That's what it's all about. Building a habit and repeating. Okay. Are you ready? Let's rock and roll. 12 reps. Just like that. You're a puppet. Two, and then pulling on your elbows. Three, four, five, six, ten. 
10, 11, 12, good. All right, we're done with that one. Now we're gonna go to hammer curls. Take a break, but we're gonna go to hammer curls and we're gonna do them like this. We're gonna do a hammer hold and we're gonna do one, one, two together. Three, three, four together. Okay, we're gonna count to 12. I'll walk you through the counting, don't worry about it. Well, you know my counting abilities by now. I mess up a lot, but that's okay. Just so wanna talk quickly about the habit. Think about other habits that you have that you don't even think about. Brushing your teeth, getting dressed, taking care of the kids, you know, feeding people, cooking. These are habits that you've built over the years or in the case of brushing your teeth, that your parents have instilled on you when you were young. So you do them, not because they're always exciting, right? You're not motivated to get up and brush your teeth. You're not like, yes, I get to brush my teeth. You're like, well, it's what I do. It is my habit that I've developed, okay? Just like we have bad habits, we also have good habits, right? We have bad habits, uh, do all kinds of bad things uh, that we don't really want to, and it's hard to break those bad habits, right? So think of somebody, who has a bad habit that you wish they could break it, right? Well, when you have a good habit, it's also hard to break, right? Brushing teeth, it's gonna be hard to like say, I'm never brushing my teeth again. You shouldn't do that. But the point is, it's a, it's a habit that you're not gonna break. So once you've instilled this habit of working out three days, four days, five days a week, with me, whatever you, whenever you build that habit and it's become part of your life, it will become part of your lifestyle and it'll become part of your future. And that's what you want, okay? That's the point of a habit. Now, let's grab some weight, because I'm talking too much as usual, and let's do hammer curls. Ready? One, one, two, that's how we're doing it. Yeah, let's get going, here we go. That's it, like that. Two, right? Three, three, four, just like that. Take a drink, you know the routine, write it down, okay? There's a good book on habits called Atomic Habits. <clears throat> if you guys are into reading or audible, whatever, Atomic Habits is a great one to learn how to build proper habits, not just in fitness, but in everyday life, right? We should be building, trying to build good habits, not just for lifting weights, but and how we meal prep, how we work with, how we do work in our work environment, uh, our habits of getting ready, preparing for the day. These are really good points that that we, you should be looking at. It's not only about physical health and muscle; it's also about mental health, and that's an area we all need to continuously work on. Obviously, including myself, uh, big time. I have areas I want to work on, but I recognize the areas that I want to grow in and I can slowly take steps to make progress in those areas, whether it be work, whether it be relationships, whether it be uh, how, how some of my habits are out of the office, in the office, whatever. You know, there's all kinds of things you wanna look at. Your mental health, how you feel about yourself, how you can build your own confidence, not arrogant, confidence. Be humble, guys. You want to be a humble person and you want to help people, but it's okay to be a confident person in your in yourself, okay? Here we go, we're doing set two. Let's do it. Build the guns, just like that, right? If you're swinging, it's too heavy, right? You just wanna pivot on the elbow, just like that. Four. Six, give it a little squeeze at the top, right? Just a little extra, mm. just like that, eight. Eleven, eleven, twelve. All right. Let's 
good. That was two sets. We have one more set coming up. Then we're going to move to the core. Now, I'm going to be fully transparent with you. I do not do direct ab work and I do not have a six pack. That's okay. It's not my goal. My goal is to look better, is to feel better, is to gain some strength, some muscle and be healthy. Now, there's no harm in working your core. So we're going to do a little bit of core work. We're going to use after this last set of hammer curls, we're going to use the ab wheel. We're going to try to do 10 rollouts. Very difficult. I'm not sure if I'll do it. I'm not sure if you'll do it. That's okay. And then we're going to do a plank for 30 seconds or more. Okay. This is where it's going to adjust based on your abilities. I'll do 30 or 45 and you guys can follow along with me. But if you can do a minute, do a minute, pause the video, then continue. Okay. I'll do as long as I can do without basically without passing up. So <laughs> it'll be a short one, 30, 45 seconds just to get into that groove of, of doing it. But I haven't done them in a very long time, but I can tell you that once you do them over and over and over again, you can go longer and longer. You could probably start with 30 seconds, add five seconds a week. And I bet you, you know, in four or five, six weeks, you'll be all of a sudden, boom, up to a minute. So we'll do three sets of those. Um, okay, but first, biceps. Stay in the zone here, guys. Stay focused, right? Mind-muscle connection. Forget about what's coming. This is all that matters right now, okay? Let's go, 12 reps, just like that. That's it. Look at those biceps as you bring them up. Look good, huh? good so we're going to as I said we're gonna leverage the ab wheel okay and what I'm going to do is I'm going to work over here so you can see me this will be for my knees I'm not looking to destroy my knees here and then we're gonna plank so grab a mat you probably have a mat somewhere and let's just lay that bad boy down anywhere and Okay, so I'm gonna bring my timer down here so when I'm on the ground, I can see what I'm doing. So the ab wheel, all you're gonna do is you're gonna, if you've never done it before, I'll show you quickly here. You're gonna have your knees, I, I suggest you put them on a, you know, on a something soft because that could hurt. You wanna have your body over top. You're not sitting back like this. Your weight is over top like this and you're rolling out, okay? Now, if you can't roll out that far, you don't have to. Let me just push this back a bit so I have a little bit of room, a couple inches. And then you're gonna come back up. If you only get a couple, do a couple and you will advance each week, okay? I may not get to 10, so let's see what we can do, okay? We're doing this together. Let's go. Just like that, right over. One. Two. Three. See? Four. Back up my knees a bit. Five. Six. Seven. All right, now we'll take 30 seconds and then we'll do a plank for 30 seconds. Basically, we'll take 30 second breaks in between each one. Okay. Now we're gonna plank. And plank, you know you wanna be on your arms. You want your, you want your arms straight down. You're not back like this. You're not way ahead. 
I don't know if you can see me. Let me just back up a little bit here. Okay. You want your, like this, and you want your back, you want to be fairly straight, okay? So let's do a 30 second one, and then we will, uh, 30 or 40, we'll see how long we can go, okay? Let's go. Just like that, nice and straight. Be solid. Tighten that core. Think of someone punching you in your stomach. You're gonna brace, right? That's what bracing is, okay? And if you start to shake, that's okay. All right, there we go, we're 20 seconds done. We got this, no problem. All right guys, so you might have to stop at 30. That's fine, stop at 30. I'll go a little longer here, so I can give you guys a little buffer if you're breaking, okay? I'll go to 45 seconds or so. That was 40 seconds. I kind of don't really know. Let's get 45 seconds. Okay. I could have went more. So your goal is to try to go 45 seconds to start and push it out a little longer every week. Okay. Now we're gonna go back to here. Take a few deep breaths here before we get going. Let me just push my mat back limited space guys work with what you got you know I know I have a lot of room over there but I want you guys to see okay we're gonna try to do 10 again you ready let's go Five. Eight. Nine. Ten. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Take another thirty seconds or so, and we'll hold for another forty-five seconds. Okay. This is just gonna tighten up your core a little bit. Give it an extra little. When you're bracing, think of someone about to hit you in the stomach. What would you do, right? <clears throat> okay, guys. You ready for another round? I am. Let's go. And go. Try to start on even numbers so I can easily calculate this in my, in my math. It's gonna get harder the second time around. You might not be able to hold as long. You just gotta keep going. Push through the shaking. Push through the pain, okay? It's good. We're at the end here, this is it. After this, we're done. This is the second set of three, okay? There's 30 seconds, guys. Keep going. I'll go 45. As you see, I'm already shaking. Talking and shaking, you know? Good. Oh yeah. Whew. One more set, guys. One more set of ab wheel and planks and we're done. I know it's going a little longer than I anticipated, but this is fun. We get to work out together, we get to have some fun. We get to build muscle. That's what it's all about. Working out, workout buddies. Push my mat up a bit so I have the space. All right, you guys ready? Last set, best set. 10 reps, let's go. Eight, two more. Last 10. 
Okay, good stuff. Let's take a quick break here before we do our last planking. Whew. I don't got much left in the tank. You guys probably don't either. Okay, 15 seconds and we'll go here. Whew. Guys, we're looking at 45 seconds and that's it, we're done. You ready? Let's go. Up we go. 45 seconds. Don't even think about it. Think of something else. Look at how great of a job we did today. Lifted. Nice upper body workout. You got the optional day done. You did it. Congratulations, guys. Now let's focus here. This is mind over matter. Okay? This is all in the head. Beautiful job. You guys are awesome. Already 30 seconds, guys. We're almost done. Just hold it with me. We are just about there. It's all in the head. Okay. Good stuff. And stop. Ah. Okay. That's it, guys. That's chisel day five optional thank you so much for joining me you guys did a great job today thank you thank you thank you for joining me that's a week the whole week finished can't wait to reset for next week baby keep it up get your protein go get something to eat get a shake come with me if you want to lift all right all right guys get on get a walk in too have a great day <laughs>